Hello and welcome to my latest weekly video news from Madison's. Well, it's a bit late this one and going forward, I'm going to post these on a Tuesday each week. Um, it can be a bit of a mad scramble getting them out for the end of the week, so um, that will just make it a bit easier and hopefully mean you've got something to look at midweek to push you through to the end of the week. Um, well, of course, the media at the moment is all about this mad um, petrol run. Of course, it's not due to a petrol shortage, it's due to a lack of lorry drivers and it just made me think I might focus my vlog this week on looking at what is going on in the world of construction because you're probably all hearing a lot of rumours there are enormous shortages there um, and one of the reasons for, the, for that shortage is exactly the same with lorry drivers but we'll get onto that in a second. So as we're all hearing in the media timber has gone up exponentially in price about 20%, steel is up 53%, um, other shortages on all sorts of things, roof tiles, cement, um, electrical supplies, paint, um, they're all going up in price due to this shortage and what's causing it and what's the outlook for that? Well, there's a variety of factors that have caused it. First of all, there was the boom to do home improvements and renovations during lockdown. We were all spending so much more time in our homes and uh, with time on our hands and maybe not having to commute every day and earning back those hours, people's attention turned to improving their homes. So suddenly there started to be more demand for these things. And that created a perfect storm of other events that started to go on as well. In those lockdowns, those early lockdowns, many factories in Europe, which is one of the biggest producers of many of those materials that I've spoken about, they stopped production. So their supply of those things reduced. Um, and also, interestingly, Sweden, Sweden's responsible for 80% of the UK's timber um, imports that we take in from that country. Um, they've just simply said there's a reduction in raw materials. There simply aren't the same amount of raw materials there. This demand that we've had has meant that just supplies are dwindling. So supplies were dwindling either because the factories were closed or indeed we're just uh, the world is struggling to keep up with our demand. Um, and then, of course, we had the Suez Canal blockage in March 2021. I think that's when people first started to get wind of this issue, actually. It was a huge thing, wasn't it? Um, the, big, the big ship, um, Given River, was it? Um, I can never quite remember. Ever Given, that's it. Um, <clears throat> it grounded for a week in March 2021. The Suez Canal, uh, interestingly, I thought you might like to hear a little bit of history about it. Um, it was constructed in 1860s. It's a constructed waterway. Uh, that means it was man-made and it was built to cut off either having to navigate huge continents of Europe and Asia to the north or going down to the Atlantic Pacific and a uh, continent of Africa to the south. It literally is a cut through. And it's a very, very important cut through, accounts for 10% of the global deliveries that go on. So blocking that for a week had huge impact, but that was then cleared. It meant it hit the media. We started to hear about these huge shortages. And then of course, now we're all starting to hear about the lack of lorry drivers, delivery drivers. Um, it's believed we're about 100,000 lorry uh, drivers short um, and certainly hasn't been helped by Brexit. Simply, uh, there was a. <clears throat> I was watching the news over the weekend actually, and uh, a head of the um, Freight Transport Association was saying that they, they, they were predicting a shortage of lorry drivers uh, many years ago. Uh, certainly, 10 years ago, they started to look at the demograph. And then, when the Brexit vote was taken, they really started to panic. Because if you looked at the demograph of UK lorry drivers, they are predominantly over 50 and male. Only 1% of lorry drivers are female. So we have a huge shortage from our own UK um, task force, which was being filled by many workers from Europe who were quite simply happy to take the very poor working conditions, sleeping in your cab, um, driving huge amounts of distance um, and not having the required brakes, etc. Um, and also the expensive licensing that you have to do. So um, those European workers filled that gap. And of course, with Brexit now, that gap is no longer filled. So the whole lack of lorry drivers is a huge issue, um, just simply in getting things to where they need to be to. And the final reason, of course, linking onto that Brexit, simply trade lines take a lot longer now to get 
uh, imports into our country. It's not as easy. And that's believed to be a big cause of the problem as well. So lots of factors going on resulting in those massive issues with supplies. Um, it's predicted it will definitely last for the end of this year. I think it will go into 2022 quite a bit as well. Probably be looking at quarter one, quarter two, 2022, before we start to get a sense of that easing and whether these, um, the, v, the temporary visas that the government is talking about issuing to lorry drivers and other key industries and obviously sorting out those supply chains will mean that um, the materials will start to flow again. Um, how do you get around it? Just plan ahead. Uh, it's worrying, as I say, that seeing all the panic buying that went on with petrol, meaning some people who desperately needed petrol, key workers, simply couldn't fill up their cars. Um, but for most builders, it's a slightly different game. They can see what's coming, they can manage their book, they can forward plan that. And as long as they get their order in quickly enough, they should be able to get supplied. But expect to see hikes on your build cost. Um, I will be looking at that. So as you all know, I'm looking to start my own build beginning next year. It's a sad reality at the moment, I'm afraid, that you've just got to pay a bit more. Um, so just some thoughts there on what's going on in the whole world of home renovating, DIY and construction. Um, well, it's the Tunbridge Wells Puppet Festival coming up. Um, Got, it's running from Saturday the 9th to Sunday the 17th of October, so not long. I wanted to give you a bit of advance notice about it. There's these leaflets dotted around. We've got a big supply here in Madison's. Feel free to pop in and get one. Um, and basically lots of um, great free events and paid for events happening across the town. Um, it's beautiful, actually. I would really encourage anybody to go along and have a look at that. Um, a really wonderful event that I think is a great return after the year we had last year to normality. And a lovely house that I have launched um, here in Tunbridge Wells is um, Boathouse Muse. It's um, Boathouse Cottage, sorry, set in Norland Muse. Um, it's a really lovely two-bedroom upside-down house, so really good living accommodation, very lock-up and leave, lovely private balcony, allocated parking, and just minutes away from lovely Norland Park uh, and about a 15-minute walk from the town. So really lovely location. It's on at a guide price of 415000 If you'd like to see the full tour or discuss any details about it, give us a call. I hope you have a lovely week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.